Hello, I'm Angelina Jaspers and I'm a Flex Marketing Pro. I created the Marketing Flex to help smart marketers lay a more efficient, focused, and accountable marketing foundation, one that can flex with the speed of business. Flexes are focused in five areas, strategy and planning, optimization, transformation, environmental sustainability, and the integration of brand with demand. Each week, I cover a real life marketing challenge and provide a framework and how-to steps to master it. Now let me introduce this week's Flex. How to manage by customer touch. As marketing professionals, we all know the importance and value of customer-focused marketing. The more targeted our message, the more receptive the response. The more integrated our campaigns, the more effective our programs. But take a closer look at most marketing organizations and you will find very few that actually align or allocate resources by customer. So where is the disconnect? There are five things that often stand in our way. For one, the reality is that most P&Ls reside at the product or business unit level, not with marketing. That in turn results in marketing campaigns that are designed and aligned by the internal client. And as most companies have multiple product lines and multiple business units, this results in multiple marketing campaigns out in the market. Not always tightly integrated in terms of message, timing, sequence, or audience. This makes managing privacy and data standards extremely challenging, even for the most buttoned up marketing organization. At the end of the funnel, the customer experience we've created is disconnected. How then do we flip the model from product-centric marketing to customer-centric marketing? We need to start the shift from marketing at the program level to marketing at a customer segment or audience level to ultimately marketing at an individual customer contact level. And here are the five steps to get there. First, we need to understand what we're doing today. Conduct an audit. How many impressions are we generating at what cost? And what is our average cost per touch or impression? Dive deep and segment our outreach by audience, by vehicle, by purpose, and by message. Second, understand and gain alignment on who, specifically who we're trying to reach, which segments, subsegments, and titles. Then do a market sizing analysis to understand not only the number of companies and decision makers, but also the upside opportunity it represents for our companies. If you don't have this capability in-house, there are several industry analyst firms that can help with the sizing analysis. Make sure to also review any secondary research and professional journals on your demographic. Now we're ready to define our customer touch plan. Step three. Here we are building a model to forecast the performance of our demand generation programs based on reach and frequency within the purchasing cycle, marketing mix, the deliberate sequencing of marketing impacts, and the expenditure levels against each. I'll share a sample planning matrix on the next slide. Fourth, test our assumptions by running a customer touch pilot on a control group. Pilot various marketing mixes, frequency level, sequencing of activities, and levels of investment against our identified target. Track the results of the various combinations. And fifth, based on the learnings from our pilot, expand to other audiences. Here is an illustrative customer touch planning matrix. On the horizontal axis, we have steps in the purchase decision cycle over time. On the vertical axis, we have the number of planned impacts or surgical strikes against our target audience. The goal is to implement the right elements in the right proportion in the right sequence to yield maximum return for our precious marketing investment. Here's some sample data to get you thinking.
finally, we may want to institute some customer touch rules for our organizations. These could include message management guidelines, frequency management rules, control of audience access points, control of audience access sources, such as internal list pulls and external list purchases, and instituting a consistent call to action and landing site for all campaigns. Over time, and this will take some time, our goal should be to have the majority of our marketing budgets allocated by customer. And once we get there, we'll be one step closer to marketing excellence. If you found this week's Flex useful, feel free to share with others, provide comment, or suggest additional topics. And most important, apply it to your work today. I also invite you to join me. You can receive the Marketing Flex in your inbox on a weekly basis by signing up on my website. See you next week.